should the reporter start apologizing for actually looking good on camera? Because I see a lot uh, in boxing is like, well, she's just beautiful. She's just pretty. Like, yeah, she is. And you think, you, like, you just described how hard it is to be in shape. And it's crazy hard to be in shape. You try to be in shape. You'll be looking at all this, you know, people who are not in shape on, on camera. You know, they're not trying. And, and it's just basically human psychology. It's pleasant to look at good looking people on TV. Like, that's just how it is. And it's not some, like, no one, like, it's a hard work to look good on TV. And I feel like a lot of people don't realize that. I don't know. I just wanted to do this little rant for a long time. <laughs> no, you know what? I agree because often I will, you know, every now and then, I, and I always, I always reply back to that. Well, not always, but sometimes I reply back to the, the person who says it. But there is always one comment, uh, it, it, you, whether it be on my Twitter or on my Instagram, or my Facebook, there's always one comment. I go, oh, well, you wouldn't be where you're at if you were ugly. Mm -hmm. And the reality of it is I can't, I'm not going to apologize for being who I am, looking how I look. Do I like to take care of myself? Yes. Do I like to get up and get dressed and do it. Yeah. For the most part, not, of course there's always the off few days. You don't want to do anything, but yeah, I do like to feel a certain way about myself. Um, but to be criticized for wearing too much makeup for dressing like this, dressing like, do you know, if I really wanted to with my following, I, if I really was trying to egg it about sexuality, I could really be egging it. Mm -hmm. Like, in fact, I'm limiting myself because I don't do it. Most people are like, oh, girl, you need to play it up while you're young. You got to play up the sexuality while you're young. If you, if you can get that attention and get them views and, and get those, you know, those endorsements, then do it. Mm -hmm. It's not about that. This is just who I am. Since I was 18 years old, I've been wearing eyelashes. I'm not apologizing for it. I like four to five inch heels. I like to feel a certain way. I like jewelry. I like makeup. What's wrong with that? That's just who I am. If someone else looks natural and more natural than me and, and does what I do, and who cares? What, what, what does it matter whether one person likes to dress up more than the other? Like, what does that have to do with the, the job I'm doing? Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, sometimes you're, you're, you're showing cleavage. I am a woman and we do have cleavage. Am I supposed, even if I dressed like a nun, like I could wear... I can be completely covered up and it'll be absolutely nothing to do with that. They'll find another reason to talk about or complain about. So like I said, your haters are the loudest mm -hmm. and that's the thing. You just have to accept it. It is what it is. People who know me, people who work with me, people who see me around, they know what I'm about and that's all that matters to me. I'm not here for the gratification of someone, you know, saying, Oh, she's this or she's that. I, I, is it, is it, does it feel good sometimes to hear, oh, you look nice? What woman, what woman would say no? What men would say no? Right. It's everyone's, yeah, everyone wants it. You know, and, it, and it, oh, you only get the views you get because guys, you know, give you attention. Okay, well, I only watch Brad Pitt's movies because I like Brad Pitt. Exactly. I'm well, you're, you go I with, uh, watch Chris Hemsworth movies. I'll watch anything he's in. <laughs> just because I like to look at him. I will go. And that's and the point. Like, that's why they I are. I will watch Brad Pitt's movies just to see Brad Pitt. It doesn't matter what the storyline is. I, I watched that one movie, which was really boring, but it wasn't boring because I was staring at the love of my life. Like, on camera, it was, it was not boring for two hours because, well, quite frankly, it was nice to look at him. If that is, do you think that movie studios care about, how great an actor is as opposed to will the women go watch him? Of course. Business. Business. So what's wrong with a woman who is intelligent, speaks well, delivers her questions well, has passion for the sport, and might look a, cer a certain way that maybe men want to tune in? What is wrong with other women in this sport, sports in general? What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. I have so many female friends across the board in various sports who are drop dead gorgeous who love to talk about sports but why is it subjected down to one thing why is it always because oh well because she's got a nice butt or she's got a nice boobs or oh look at her she she's always flirting with him because she's smiling mm -hmm. like it's unbelievable it's always something but again of course it comes down to sexism 
that's a whole different topic that I don't even care to get into because quite frankly, it's a loose, loose situation for women in, in many industries. It, mm -hmm. it goes into every industry. It's not just sports, it's every industry. But what's important is that you know where you're going in life. You know who you are. You know that you're not out sleeping around with people to get jobs. Mm -hmm. That's what matters. That ultimately is what matters. So my best advice to other women, because I've had other women, I actually mentor a few at the moment who are up and coming. And I say the same thing to them because they go through the same things that I went through when I first started. I still go through them, but I think I'm just better at reacting towards it. Mm -hmm. um, I say the same thing to them. Like, you know what, babe, you just keep doing what you're doing. Just keep doing what you're doing because you're always going to be there. And so long as you have talent and the ability to do a good job, you are going to be fine. It does not matter at the end. Like I said, one of the best, one of the best things I say all the time is, or one of the best things I've heard, I'm sorry, that I often repeat is it's water off a duck's ass. Mm -hmm. Does not matter.